Hi friends, this is Daniel Research and welcome to my new video series about open source platform for decentralized applications and smart contracts Codius. In this first video I will show you how to set up Codius server and later I will discuss this platform in more details and will show you how to build your own smart contract. When you hear about decentralized applications and smart contracts platform, the first thing that may pop in your mind is Ethereum, where smart contracts hosting is built into the blockchain. Such approach leads to some limitations, like scalability issues, hosts can be paid only in Ether tokens, and of course smart contracts have to be written in some specific programming language Solidity. On the other hand, Codio sits aside of any blockchain which solves scalability issues. Hosts can be paid in any digital or fiat asset, but today on June 17th only XRP tokens are accepted, but that will be short, shortly solved. And of course, smart contracts can be coded in any Turing complete programming language. In order to host Codius server, you need x86 bare metal or virtual server which supports nested virtualization. For the purpose of this video, I will deploy my Codius server on Google Cloud Platform. Let's click Create. Set the name of our Codius server, so let's call it Codius Test. Region and zone leave default. Here we should select parameters of our server. CPU is actually not very critical for Codius performance, but memory is very important. Here we have 3.75 gigs of memory. System itself will consume about 1 gigabyte, and every smart contract will eat approximately half of gigabyte, which means that in these conditions we can host 5 contracts simultaneously, which is more than enough for the beginning. So let's leave these parameters as they are. Here we have to select operating system type. As of now, Codius supports only CentOS version 7, so let's click CentOS and leave disk size by default. Here we should allow HTTPS and HTTP traffic as well, and let's click Create. It will take some time to deploy our server. Well, server is finally deployed and we have its external IP address. Let's copy it and go to DNS manager where we'll create a host name and link host name to this IP address. So let's click add, create a record and we'll call our host Corius test and it points to this IP address. Hit save and let's create yet another one, record, also type A, which means that all subdomains in Codius test will also point to this IP address. It also takes some time to update all DNS records and in order to be able to pin our host by this host name, We'll wait a little. In the meanwhile, let's connect to our host by SSH and configure it. As a configuration guide, I will use this article written by Stefan Thomas, who is one of the major contributors of Codius project. So the first thing we need to do is to set a host name. Let's copy this command, go to the terminal, switch user, sudo su, here we are acting as root, so be careful. Let's paste command and set host name. Codius test denario research xyz. 
no typos and hit enter. Now let's check host name, so this comment your name, your name minus n, it will show our host name, Codios test, and the narrow research XYZ. Okay, let's move further. In order to run Codios server, we need to install three major components. The first one is Hyper-D. It manages virtualization and isolation of code. The next one is Money-D, which processes payments through interledger protocol. And the last one, which is Codius D, it allows developers to upload their code and host on your server. So let's begin with Hyper D. So let's begin with installation of dependencies. Let's copy this first command and paste it here. So it will install C compiler. In the meanwhile, let's copy this command. It will install the latest version of Hyper-D and we'll launch it. So let's wait for completion of dependency installation. Compiler is already installed, so let's paste command that will install Hyper-D. It will also take some time, so I'll pause the video and continue once everything is done. Hyper-D is installed and running. Now let's enable Hyper-D start on system boot. So system CTL enable Hyper-D. So Hyper-D server service will start once every time one system is rebooted. Let's move further. Now we will install MoneyD. This service is responsible for payments processing. So let's copy the first command and paste it in terminal. We have just installed repositories for Node.js version 10. Now let's install Node.js. Yes, Node.js is already installed. And finally we can install MoneyD. Install MoneyD. Let's wait for completion. Well, MoneyD is already installed and now we should configure it to process XRP payments. So let's copy the command MoneyD XRP colon config and hit enter. Here we should provide XRP private key of our account. For obvious security reasons, Create a separate XRP account for your Codius server and activate it with at least 20 XRPs. Also deposit more than 10 XRPs for channel creation. MoneyD will use this channel to send money directly to your account. And for every new Codius server you will require new channel. So let's paste our XRP secret here. Now we are ready to install Codius D. Let's begin with dependencies. So we have to install git as this command. And the next thing we'll install Codius D service with npm. Okay, git is installed and installing Codius D. Now we'll create a config file for Codius D service. So we'll create it in etc systemd system system directory and we'll call it codius d service. Hit enter and let's insert the following text there. Okay, now we have to replace this codiusexample.com with our Codius server name. Let's do this Codius test, denario research XYZ. Here we can also set up how many XRPs per contract per month we want to receive. By default, it is 10. 
So let's save file. Now we will edit this file to use our actual host name. Let's paste following command and as usual replace Corius example.com with our host name Corius test denario research xyz and hit enter. Done. Let's also enable Corius D start on system boot. So system ctl enable Corius D. Done. And let's start Corius D service. System ctl start Corius D. Corius D is running now. Now we need request wildcard certificate. Typically SSL certificates cost about 50 to 90 bucks per year, but thanks to Let's Encrypt service we can generate them for free. So please donate some amount of money to support these guys. In order to generate certificate we'll install certbot, so let's copy this command and paste it into terminal. This will clone certbot repository, cd certbot, and check out version 0.23. Done. Now let's run all these commands. This will install certbot. Let's wait for completion. Now let's run Venv script and finally we'll create a symlink to third bot. Okay, script is finished, so let's create symlink. And in order to run third bot wizard, let's copy this command and let's follow wizard's instructions on servbot not found. So let's figure out what's wrong. We will go to when bin directory and run servbot command from there. So cd when bin. Let's list to make sure that servbot is there. And let's copy again this command and paste it into terminal. Yes, and here we should go to DNS manager and create the following text to the record. Let's copy the name first, go to DNS, add, type txt, hostname, copy, and value, this one. paste it. Now let's hit continue and we'll create yet another one record. Also type txt, same host name but with different value. Copy and paste and save. Once everything is saved we can press enter and wait for verification. Well, I was not authorized because I have pressed enter here a little bit early while DNS records were not updated. So I need to wait a little and repeat this operation again. And if you are patient enough, you will receive the following message. It says congratulations, certificate and key file were generated and saved on your server. Now let's set up Nginx. Nginx will act as a reverse proxy. It will receive incoming traffic and will forward it to Codius D service. In order to install Nginx, firstly we need to enable EPL repository. So let's copy this command, paste it into terminal 
and now we are able to install Nginx. So let's also copy. This command will enable Nginx service on system startup. Done. And let's copy this command as well. Now we should configure Nginx as a Codius reverse proxy. To do so, let's create following file, Codius conf, and paste the following content there. Let's copy this commands, paste them, and let's replace codiusexample.com with our actual server name. So this would be passed to our key file and certificate file. So codius test denario research xyz and Repeat Codius test this scenario research XYZ. Save and that's all. And one more command to make engines use this file. So let's replace example with our host name test denarial research xyz done and let's make sure that se linux is set to allow nginx to act as a proxy server let's simply copy and paste Now let's start Nginx service. Done. And open port 443. Also done. Well, that's all. If everything works correctly, your Codius server will automatically connect to the network and will build peers list, like in this example. Well, is it profitable to run such server? And the answer is not yet. We don't have sufficient amount of smart contracts written on Codius to cover cost of running the server. But it's like chicken and egg problem. Contracts can live without hosts and hosts need contracts to cover costs, and someone has to make the first step here. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!